Today, we're at one of the busiest airports in the Bahamas, which is Nassau. We're gonna fly the TBM 850 over to Miami, Florida. planning room we're going to get the ATIS and then we'll contact clearance delivery. All right so we'll pick up the ATIS here. Linden Billing International Airport Information Golf Time 16000. RNAV approaches runway 1 for news. Runway 1028 closed. ILS runway 14 out of service. Approach lights runway 14 out of service. Wind 16016 knots. Deep wind 20 knots. Visible the 8 nautical miles. Two clouds 1400. Broken 20000. MK1 Fahrenheit or 27 Celsius, 2.73 Fahrenheit or 23 Celsius, on the number 3000. All arriving aircraft, contact mass approach control at frequency 11.0. All participating VFR aircraft, contact approach control box 325 miles from airport and expect vectors for sequencing. All departing aircraft must contact clearance delivery on frequency 118.3 prior to taxiing. Advise on initial contact, you have information golf. All right, we have information golf. We'll go over to the clearance deliver here and pick up our IFR clearance. Nassau clearance, good afternoon, TBM 851 Tango Bravo over at Odyssey with Golf, we're going to pick up our IFR. 851 Tango Bravo, copy clearance, clear to Opelaka via Bahama Route 57 Victor, clear as filed, climb and maintain 4000, expect clearance to filed altitude 10 minutes after departure, squawk 0010. Cleared over to Opelaka, Bahama Route 57 Victor, as filed, maintain 4,000, expect 16,000, 10 minutes after, squawking 0010, number 851 Tango Bravo. Three back, correct, departure 121.0, ground point seven four. taxi, confirm you have information, Golf. Roger, we have Golf, one Tango Bravo. Roger. Gotcha. Alright, got our clearance. Welcome aboard the TBM 850. Exciting day. We're here at NASA and we're heading back to Florida. So we'll start up the TBM here. Clear out the front. Get loose pump on. Starter is on. Starter light is blinking. Ignition light is on. The first two things we're looking at. Marshall right out there is telling us we are good to go. And uh, looking at the NG. NG is stabilized as high as it's going to go. Fuel to low idle. Uh, the two things we're looking at, the ITT rising up, and at that for hot starts, NG for hung starts. Looks like the ITT is going to temp out right at 735 degrees Celsius on the ITT. So that's starting to come back down with the temperature. Looks like it's going to be a good start. There we go. Since we got our clearance inside, we can go right over to ground now and let them know we're ready to go. Yeah, so ground, good afternoon. Over at five one Tango Bravo over at Odyssey with Golf Ray Taxi. Tango Bravo Taxi to Lima, hold short of 1 4 for crossing. Lima, hold short of 1 4, no, over five one Tango Bravo. Alright, got our taxi instructions. Quick flash of the taxi light. Now as we're ready to go. Are you at Odyssey, confirm? Hey, firm at Odyssey, no, over five one Tango Bravo. Ah, uh, Roger. Tell us to go straight ahead. And to the right. Real nice the guys and girls here at uh, Odyssey. Look out at the wing there, you'll see the flight controls. Free and correct. 
Yeah, I'd like to welcome everybody on board. It's uh, going to be a fun flight back to Florida today in the Bahamas here with the TBM. If you guys do like these videos, be sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Also, if you ring that little bell when you subscribe, it gives you a notification when I do upload a video. And coming up here, this is runway 14. We've been told to hold short of uh, this runway for our crossing clearance. And ground, do you want to take Hotel 6 in or Hotel 5? There's the hold short bars in front of us here, so we'll come to a stop right here. Tango Bravo, cross runway 14, left on hotel. Proceed uh, the hotel for the holding point 14, clear to cross 1028. Roger, we're going to cross 14 and then hotel, we're also going to cross uh, 10 to uh, runway 14, 851 Tango Bravo. Uh, Roger. Alright, we got all that. Taxi instructions here, so this is running 1-4. We are clear to cross, clear to the left, and clear to the right. And now here's Hotel, and we're going to go left here. And there's another crossing runway right there, runway 1028, that's now closed one today. ground control, go ahead. So we're cleared also to cross runway 2810, so we're also cleared to cross this. Uh, hold short, clear we to the left. seem to have a number of departures, clear to the right arrivals over coming in, but as soon as we're able, we'll let you know. Now we've got a long taxi all the way down to the end of this runway. The wind is pretty strong today, and it's pretty much coming right down the runway, so we're actually going to ask for an intersection departure of intersection Foxtrot, so we don't have to go all the way to the end of this runway. It's a really long runway. And ground over 851 any chance I get an intersection Foxtrot departure? Yes, Foxtrot is approved. At Foxtrot, hold short of the runway and switch to Tower 195. Roger, thanks for that. Foxtrot, we'll hold short, go to Tower 851 Tango Bravo. Ah, uh, Roger. So yeah, NASA is the busiest airport in the Bahamas. A lot of different airlines from around the world come into this airport. I can see somebody out there on final, so we won't be getting any takeoff clearance until he lands. Alright, so this is Foxtrot. Go left right here. And there's our hold short line. Pull right up here and hold short. Tower, good afternoon. November 851 Tango Bravo, hold short of 1 Fort Fox Road. November 851 Tango Bravo, NASA Tower, Roger, hold short, landing traffic, shell on fire. Roger, holding short of 1 Fort, November 851 Tango Bravo. Continue approach to runway 1 Fort. Let's see, this guy, oh, he planted it down pretty good. Why Sunwing.com. Thank you. I wouldn't call that a greaser. Remember 851 Tango Bravo, line up on Red 114 at uh, Fox Road. Be ready on delay south traffic approaching three miles. Roger, line up from late at Fox Road on 14851 Tango Bravo. Okay, okay so we are clear to line up and wait. Charlie C. Sierra Bravo, Sierra Roger, hold short, departing and landing traffic. Got yeah, traffic out there at final. Remember 851 Tango Bravo, without delay, fly runner heading, runner 14 clips take off from taxi Fox Road. Without delay, clear for takeoff from 14 intersection, Fox Drive, 851 Tango Bravo, runway heading. Chelsea, one, 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 okay, one, so we're no clear. delay here. Clear land, one, takeoff four, power four. is set. Well, temperature pressure is all good in the green. Holding our center line. Wind is pretty gusty today. For our rotation speed, there it is. And positive rate, and indicating. We'll hold off on the gear just for a little bit here, as we still have a lot of runway left that we could use if we had an issue. All right, now we'll go gear up. Gear selected. And indicating. And now we'll go flaps up. Number eight five Got damper on. Bravo, kind of departure, one, two, five, decimal yeah. three. For departure, eight five one Tango Bravo, thanks. Roger. 125.3. Departure, good afternoon. Over 851 Tango Bravo, 1000 climbing to 4, runway heading. Confirm 851 Tango Bravo, departure control, radar contact, climb and maintain 12000. Turn right heading 230. 12000 and then 230 on the heading, 851 Tango Bravo. Roger. Alright, so we put our heading bug over there to 230. And we got 12000 set up in our altitude pre selector. And we'll put the autopilot on, IS mode, and the autopilot is now on. And we're in heading mode. And we're going to go into 850 mode, so pull the power just under 100%. 
flap lever up and over the gate. We'll also turn off our inertial separator. As you can see, the light came off. Now we can utilize the torque above 100%. Good view over there of the island of NASA. Just climbing out of 3,000 feet now. It's smoothed right on up for the uh, our ride. And we'll adjust our pressurization down here for our cruise altitude. And we can put the armrest down and get comfortable. There we go. Norm A51 Tango Bravo, turn right heading 300. Right 300, one Tango Bravo. Heading bug is set to 300. Since we're on autopilot, airplane is going to turn towards that as we are in heading mode. Oh, real nice view now. Looking down there, off the right wing. Number 851 Tango Bravo, turn right, proceed direct Peach, join Bahama Route 57 Victor. Correction direct Major, proceed direct Major, join Bahama Route 57 Victor. Roger, go direct Major, join Bahama Route 57 Victor, 851 Tango Bravo. Roger. Are you kidding me? We just got another generator failure. This is unbelievable. This is a brand new one too. All right, so I'm gonna reduce the load, turn off the air conditioning. I've gone through this a few times. Turn off our lights and everything. All right, we've reduced the load, looking at the amps. We're looking good there for a try to reset. Generator trip and reset, and it is taking the load. So we're looking up here. 28 volts and the amps are looking good. I don't know, we got to bring it back into TBM again with a whole new jet starter generator and yet another failure. This airplane is cursed with generator failures. All right, so return direct major. From A5, one Tango Bravo, maintain one 2000, contact Miami Center, one two five point seven. Maintain one 2000, 25 seven, eight five one Tango Bravo, okay. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Miami. You know, R-A-5-1 Tango Bravo, I'm at 1-2000, direct major. Number A-5-1 Tango Bravo, Miami Center. Climb and maintain 1-6000. Now solid 10 minutes to 9-er, 9-er, 9-er. 9-er, 9-er, climb and maintain 1-6000, 8-5-1 Tango Bravo. 1-6000, set up in our altitude pre-selector. We'll VS at 1,500 feet a minute up. 2-9-er, 9-er, 9-er. On our altimeters. You look down here at the iPad, this is our routing. You can see our breadcrumb trail along with our glide advisor. You can see our couple turns that we did there. We're direct major at this time. And we're gonna go up and intercept behind me, five, seven, Victor. And we'll once again, pull out our emergency checklist here. To make sure we did everything correctly with the generator failure. 1,000 to go, one 5,000 climbing to one 6,000. All right, so we confirmed everything with the emergency checklist. Generator failure, once again, is taken care of correctly. So we're leveling out at 16,000 now. Uh, the airplane's gonna nose over and we'll build up some airspeed. Um, Ready five one Tango Bravo, do not exceed 160 knots for spacing. Roger, uh, won't exceed 160 knots, 851 Tango Bravo. All right, that is gonna make this flight a lot longer. So watch what I'm going to do here, guys. I mean, I've already fired one Tango Bravo. We'll cancel IFR. We're just going to go proceed direct at VFR at 16,500. And I'm ready for one Tango Bravo. Roger, IFR cancellation received. Maintain present code for flight following. Roger, we'll maintain present code. Thanks, one Tango Bravo. We're turning direct to Roger. All right, so there we go. Direct, enter, enter to Opelaka. We're in nav mode. And we're also now going to go to a VFR cruising altitude, which will be 1,000, 1,600. And now we can continue going full speed. Because I mean, to pull it back 30, 40 knots, that would have been insane from all the way out here. We're still 137 miles out. So it's a nice day as you can see out the window. And since we have that option, we'll go VFR direct. And we still have a flight following, so they're still watching us and everything, so it's all good. I fly this airplane as my full-time job. It's an awesome career to have. I mean, look at flying around the beautiful Bahamas. Look at that right wing. 
That's not a bad office. Let me set a Charlie 6 here about Mattel with you, 8.5. So we'll set our cruise power now. We're just going to pull the prop RPM back to 1900. That's so gone from 2,000 revolutions per minute back to 1,900 revolutions per minute. Just a little bit better on the noise level in the cabin. So if you look down here at the iPad, we'll now go to Opelaka. 72, descend and maintain 16,000, now And we'll go direct to. Now there's our new route, direct to Opelaka. One thing we have to worry about now, though, is staying clear of Class Bravo. Actually, we'll go north up here so you can see a little better. We have to remain clear of Class Bravo coming up, so we got to look at the outer bands out here of the airspace, and we have to be below 3,000 in that shelf. So, use the uh, right there. If we utilize the uh, about 18.5 miles from Opelika, let's just say 19, we want to be at 3,000 feet. So this is an international flight today. We're going to be crossing the U.S. Ada's line and you have to have a squawk in your transponder when you cross this line i'll show you once we get up a little bit closer when we cross it so we still have the squawk in our transponder so they know who we are that way we don't get in trouble and also don't let me forget guys when we land i got my passport here today don't let me forget i gotta go to customs so we gotta go to customs and clear back into the country as soon as we land and opalock airport has got is a point of entry into the united states so we get, there's a customs facility there over A51 Tango Bravo, contact Miami Center, 135.6. 35 one Tango Bravo, have a good day. Good afternoon, Miami, TBM A51 Tango Bravo, 16,500, direct Opelika. TBM A51 Tango Bravo, Miami Center, Miami Altimeter, 29 or 89. 29 or 89, one Tango Bravo. And we are now within range, we'll go over and get the ATIS at Opelika. Opelika Tower Information X-ray, time 16520. Weather, wind 16022, visibility 10, ceiling broken 2100, broken 2800, temperature 28, 2.22, open air 29090, expect a nine left, rolling 9 left, 1 right, available for arrival and departure. If I find yourself contact, information x-ray. All right, we have information x-ray. X-ray, time 1. All right, so we can either expect with information x-ray uh, 9 left or runway 1-2. Since the winds are out of the south gusty, I say we take the one with the stronger crosswind, right? You guys don't want me to take the easier runway, do you? That's always good to practice your crosswind landings. But looking out the front window and listen to the ATIS, the cloud layers are a little bit uh, more IFR than what I was anticipating and what was forecasted. It was showing that it was going to burn off by now. And as you can see out the front, does look pretty solid, so I'm actually going to try to see if I can get a local IFR back into Opelika now. I mean, over 851 Tango Bravo. Only center Sega. I mean, that's no 851 Tango Bravo. A request. One Tango Bravo, go ahead. Uh, listening to the ATIS at Opelika, is there any chance I get back on an IFR flight plan in there to shoot an approach? One Tango Bravo, Roger. And uh, clear to Opelika Airport via fly present heading to center maintain 16000. Roger, thanks. Uh, present heading down to 16,000, 85, one Tango Bravo. All right, so uh, heading mode, uh, present heading, and we'll also go down to 16,000. <laughs> then our altitude pre-selector, and 1,500 feet a minute down. So yeah, originally they said this was going to burn off, even before when I looked at the forecast right before I took off, but. It's obviously not burning off fast Go enough. Number one, Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 8,000. Going down to 8,000, thanks, one Tango Bravo. 8,000 set up, and we'll VS it 1,500 feet a minute down. So we canceled the IFR when we first took off, and they had us reduce 40 knots on our airspeed for spacing. And then, you know, we went on VFR, but then now listening to the ATIS and seeing that the weather did not lift as forecasted, and we now requested to get back on an IFR, and Miami was nice enough to uh, work that in and work it out for us. They always do a good job down here. And one Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 3,000. Uh, 3,000, one Tango Bravo. 3,000 set. Now we're going to go to procedures, approach, ILS 9 left. And coming up, here's our approach chart. Got that all briefed. 
So number one, Tango Bravo, traffic 11 o'clock, four miles, northwest bound, indicating 7,500. We're looking for the traffic, thanks for heads up, one Tango Bravo. Miami, Jeff Blue, 16. Oh, we got a traffic call out here. Nine, Keep an eye out for this traffic. And we do now have the airplane all set up for the ILS, nine left. We fly single pilot, there's a lot to do, you know, watching out for traffic, setting up the airplane for approaches and arrivals, dealing with generator failures, all in a day's work. And generator's been holding on steady, I don't know, just... November 1, Tango Bravo, turn 5 degrees right. 5 right, 1 Tango Bravo. we go to 300 on the heading, that'll be our 5 right. For one Tango Bravo, traffic no factor, and clear direct decal, Delta, Echo, Kilo, Alpha, Lima, join the wave in 5, Bravo to Opelaka, cross 5 miles southeast of decal at 3,000. 5 miles southeast of decal at 3,000, and we'll go direct decal for the wave in 5, arrival, 5, 1, Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, affirmative, just confirm 5 miles southeast of decal at 3,000. Roger, 5 miles southeast of decal at 3,000, 8, 5, 1, Tango Bravo. Now we're under 10,000 feet, speed limit is 250 knots or less, so you guys keep an eye on that for me. Make sure I don't break any speed limits. It is windy down there, I don't know if you guys can see the white caps. There's Bimini actually, we just passed Bimini. That was off our right wing. Yeah, there's a lot of white caps, so it is a windy day, I would not want to be on a boat. You guys are keeping a good eye on that for me, right? It looks like we're getting pretty close to that 250. Don't want to go over that. Ray 5 1 Tango Bravo, keep your speed up, please. Try to keep the speed up, 1 Tango Bravo. Blue, Alright, so 16, since we're coming in with all these, a lot of all the jets coming around from the world, they're coming in around the same arrivals as we are. So they want to keep us going as fast as we can to blend in with the rest of the traffic. 1,000 to go, that's 4,000, send to 3,000, and we're looking perfect for our crossing restriction. Okay. Right, 200 feet to go, we're leveling on it at 3,000 feet. ABM 851 Tango Bravo, contact mommy approach, 128.6, stay up. 26, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Mommy, good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo, leveling on it at 3,000 feet with information x-ray. 851 Tango Bravo, mommy approach, x-ray is current, expect the ILS 9 left. I would expect the ILS 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. We've got a little room to play with, we'll add a little bit more power in here to keep this plane going as fast as we can. Now that we've leveled out at 3,000 feet. If you look down here in the charts, you see there's the uh, US-8 is line, we just passed through, we're in the, between them right now. That's where you want to make sure you have a squawk in your transponder. Number one, Tango Bravo, expect a visual approach for 9 left with a left down one. Proceed direct to Opelaka to send a maintain 2,000. Direct to Opelaka, down 2,000, expect the left uh, traffic for 9 left, 851, Tango Bravo. Uh, heading 3 Alright, direct to Opelaka, we're in nav mode, 2,000 center altitude pre-selector, and we'll VS that down to capture that. Airplanes turn left, clear to the left. Number 7 here, Juliet, you're just going down to Kiva Scan, and then you're going to turn around? Yes, sir, going down to Kiva Scan, turn around back down, uh, 7 here. 7 Juliet, Julia, roger. And we're cruising on through this cloud layer that they have in here Rocket in South Trinity Florida. 270. 270, Rocknair Trinity. This airplane likes to, autopilot likes to kick off when you're in turbulence. So I don't put any pressure on the yoke, but I keep my hand there just in case it does kick off. And normally I like to slow it up when going through the clouds. But today we're told to keep our speed up. So we'll abide by their request. Off to decal 300, 3000, still wing 72, right? There we are, level on 2000 feet. Yeah, look down there, see all those white caps? That shows you that wind is cranking down there. Next frequency will actually be the tower, so we'll get that set up to stay ahead of the flight. Just popping in and out of these clouds. Should get the uh, shoreline in sight here shortly. Number one Tango Bravo, airport is 12 o'clock and one two miles. Let me know when you get it inside. Roger, we'll advise one Tango Bravo. Number seven, okay, we got this one last cloud right here, and I think we'll see it after we get past indicated. this. Got the traffic inside, so show you so There we go, through the cloud, there it is out there in sight. Miami 8 by one Tango Bravo, we got Opelok in sight. 
Number one, Tango Bravo. Uh, clear British approach, nine left, main hit 2,000 till midfield, left downwind. 2,000 till midfield, left downwind. Clear for the visual, nine left, 851, Tango Bravo. Number one, Tango Bravo, contact over Lago, 134.67, good night. Over tower, thanks for your help, one Tango Bravo. Over Lago Tower, good afternoon, TBM 851, Tango Bravo, 11 to the east, inbound um, for the visual, nine left. TBM 851 Tango Bravo, block of tower traffic, 12 o'clock, mile and a half southbound, altitude in case 900 feet, make left traffic, runway 9 left. 1 2 is available if you'd like, wind 1 9 or 0 at 1 5, gust 2 5. I will take uh, 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. Roger, altimeter 2 9 or 8 7, runway 9 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 9 left, and then we were told to maintain 2000 till midfield left down, do we still need to buy by that? Um, no. Okay, Roger, thanks. Okay, it's disconnect the autopilot. Go into Perry's airspace. Roger, will not do that. One time, road. One Tango Bravo, Perry. Uh, traffic just came out of Perry, two miles north and west. You have probably a helicopter, 500 feet. Are uh, you looking for that traffic? One Tango Bravo. So we got the airport out there in front of us in sight. We're gonna make left traffic for nine left. We are cleared to land. And we could have chose the easier option of only 1-2, with the, the winds are out of the south, gust of 25. I figured, why not practice a nice crosswind landing? Whoa, that was a bump. <laughs> I almost think I should have my seatbelt on. I heard something go flying up in the back. I don't know what it was, probably the pretzels. Even though it's more difficult only with the winds today, it's always good to practice your crosswind landings. Wow, that tell you right now, these gusts are pretty crazy. The thermals are bouncing us right out of the sea. You guys got your seatbelts on, right? All right, good deal. It's bumpy. All right, so we're coming up on a midfield left down one. We're within our speed limitation, so we'll go first notch flaps. Selected. Got the wing there, you'll see the flaps coming down. And indicator. And we will now go gear down. Alright, gear is down and indicating. I'm hand flying it. We'll now double click to just get rid of the odd damper. So now I can feel utilize the rudder pedals. And we'll start our left base. All right, 25 knot gusting crosswind, here we come. Keep our speed a little bit higher than normal today, just for any wind shear, because we were hitting some pretty big thermals back there. We're looking good on our speed. Left base for rowing nine left. 500. 500 feet to the ground. Now we're going to have quite a crab angle here when we turn final. Start our turn here. Got a few birds out there. Got to keep an eye out for those guys. We're going to hold the crab. And I'll kick out the crab right as we go into the flare. There was our chime. That was how well we could have won if we had the approach in. So as you can see, we have quite a crab angle. Flying pretty much sideways. Looking good in speed. We're going to go back to flight idle. I'm going to kick with the left leg in the rudder. Perfect. And we'll go back into reverse. The right landing gear touchdown, which is the one that's cl you know, closer to the one going into the wind, so that's what you want to have happen. Holding in our crosswind correction. It's about uh, 65 to the northeast and block for the and we'll roll it down to Charlie Intersection. Southbound, and once you're outside of Perry's airspace, yeah, it's always good to south. practice, you know, those uh, crosswind okay, landings. So I could have chose the easier runway today, but it's always like good to there. stay proficient. Crosswind landings are pretty much one of the hardest things you can do being a pilot. And here's our Charlie Intersection. Turn right here. Across the hold short lines and we'll contact ground. Welcome to Opalaka, Miami, Florida. Opalaka ground, good afternoon. Another 851 Tango Bravo clearing 9 left on Charlie. Need to go into customs. 851 Tango Bravo, Opalaka ground, taxi customs via Charlie. Charlie into customs, thanks 851 Tango Bravo. 
All right, so welcome to Miami, Florida, Opelaka, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that flight from the Bahamas into Miami, Opelaka Airport. If you did like the video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Give it a little thumbs up for that 25 knot crosswind landing. I did that for you guys. The customs is right up here to the right. We'll go right into there and shut down. And I'm gonna point this thing into the wind. On our shutdown so the turbine will cool a little quicker. So that's customs right off our right. We'll put her right here and shut her down. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. We'll talk to you again someday soon.